UFC lightweight division bout. So here he is, the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. It's a title he always thought he would have. He just needed the opportunity, and you all saw what he did, and outclassing the all-time great Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky is the total package. We make a lot about his rugby league career, and at one point, he was a 214-pound athlete. He was an absolute marauder, but now it has felt 145 pounds. He truly has every skill but fitting a long-reigning champion. This division has a bunch of killers in it, and right now they're all chasing the Volk, man, Alexander Volk. So the fight is now underway on one side. You have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outside. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Nice punch here. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. And now he's got the tie clutch. Boy, tie club. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Oh. Whoa! Oh. oh, straight right. Under three minutes remain in round one. Another shot here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. No, he's on top of him looking for a minute. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight down to that double leg. Gets up again here, but hurting. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here or not. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Seconds of round one. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked. Lost that. Listen to me. Lost. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. He loaded up there on that high kick. Straight right. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Deep Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. This is with that punch. Oh, straight right. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight. 
straight right. Oh, collar tie. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Under three minutes now to go in round two. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the shot. Take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Was able to get him down. Persistence, aids, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top of the Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Great punch. Oh, inside leg kick lands for him, DC. That was beautiful technique. He's beating up both sides of the leg. A lot of times you see guys throwing outside kicks. He's... Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Right hand punches the clinch. Well, just as he did in the previous... Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after time. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a T. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big power shot there. Oh, with the oh. He's out! He's done, he's done! <laughs> Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at one minute, 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Islam Bokachev.